What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today we are unboxing a brand new Matchbox 50 pack. That's right, let's go ahead and pop it open and see what we have inside. And as you can see, different packaging than what Hot Wheels are shipped in. They don't have this plastic around here, so that's kind of interesting. And if you guys haven't noticed, Matchbox cars are actually been really, really hard to get a hold of ever since this whole pandemic has started. So a lot of people are just getting back into the collecting of Matchbox cars, which is interesting. I mean, not nothing against Matchbox. Uh, they just haven't been as popular as the Hot Wheels cars. But you know what? Their detail and all their new cars that they've been releasing for them, they're absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and see what which ones we have. I've cut away a little bit of the plastic to make it easier for us to get some of the cars inside here. Let's go ahead and pop them open right here. And first thing we do have is a Honda Civic, the 2017 Honda Civic hatchback. And it looks like these are shorty cards. So this is actually a 50 pack that I bought on Amazon. So uh, I definitely didn't know they were gonna be shorty cards, but hey, nothing against that. That's actually pretty cool. All right, our next card that we have is the a uh, cliff hanger. I was just reading on the side right there. There it is, cliff hanger right there. It looks like some sort of Jeep sort of thing right there. Not too bad, kind of cool looking. All right, let's see what else we have up here. I'll oh, we'll grab a couple down. Uh, we have got a squad shredder. There we go, squad shredder right there. Some sort of ATV off-road type of vehicle. Pretty neat looking. And our other one that we grabbed out here is some sort of tractor. We've got the Tractor King right there. All right, Tractor King right there. And you can see it's some sort of like farming tractor inside of that little casing right there. There we go. All right, let's see what else we have up here. We've got a off-road, uh, what is this one called? Hail Cat. There we go, Hail Cat. And this looks to be some sort of like snow machine possibly. You can see the tread that it has on the bottom right there. So it looks like it's meant for snow. What does it have written on the side? Hail Cat just right on the side. All right, so it's a extreme off-road snow vehicle. Pretty cool. All right, what else do we have up here? We got a nice uh, off-road sort of gas truck by the looks of it. And this one is called X Canner. There is X Canner right there. Awesome. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's made for fueling up cars and stuff like that. And then after that, we do have a Ford F550 Super Duty right there. Check that one out. Definitely a extended cab. And this one looks to be like some sort of fire truck, I would believe. Looks like it says Mountain Rescue. Okay, so maybe it's a rescue truck. There we go, Ford F-150. Lots of cool Ford trucks, sorry, Ford F-550, not F-150. Great looking extended one there. All right, what else do we have up here? We have a Fiat 500X. There we go, the nice Matchbox Fiat 500X. And then right below that, whoa, this one's really cool. We have a 1970 Datsun 510 rally car. Check that one out. That is really, really neat looking. I do like that rally car Datsun 510. Look at all the graphics and stuff just right on the side of that. Very, very neat looking. All right, we'll put that aside. Next, we do have a uh, Geo Predator or Geo Predator. This looks to be some sort of like off-road racing vehicle by the looks of it. Looks like it's got like crazy suspension and all that stuff to go off-road. Pretty cool. And this one's part of the MBX off-road series. So there you go. Definitely made for the off-road. We've got a van right here. We've got the Ford panel van, and this one has on the side Speedy Express. So I wonder if it's like a glass fixing, glass repair van of some sort, possibly. All right, and our next one after that is a uh, Beach Patrol Hummer H2 Concept. Wow, that's really cool. Beach Patrol Hummer, maybe in the, the beaches of California or whatnot, this is for the Hummer. All right, what else do we have down here? We'll pull some more out here. Whoa, this is really neat. This is really neat. Look at that. We've got the Austin Mini Van. Check that one out. And then written on the side of it, I'm not sure what it is. It says something really, really tiny in there, but uh, pretty neat looking Austin Mini Van. And then we pulled out this one right here. Oh, wow, Volkswagen Type 34 Carmen Ghia. Check that one out. Beautiful classic convertible right there from the back and from the front and all that good stuff right there. There we go. And what else do we have? We've got, this one's an off-road one. It looks like Badlander, Badlander. And that's an interesting color. It's like a goldish color for it. And this is some sort of pickup truck. It looks like it's got some like wide body on the back of it as well. That's pretty neat. Awesome, awesome. All right, what else do we have down here? We've got the uh, rescue tank. There we go rescue tank and that looks to be like another extreme off-road snow vehicle of some sort 
rescue tank and on the top all types of rescue stuff on top of there as well and then we've got this one Ooh, i really really like that 1970 plymouth cuda check that one out that looks to be is this an aar no it just it's a hemi cuda there we go even better my favorite one of my favorite muscle cars ever the plymouth hemi cuda blacked out wheels cool looking stripe nice color of this one as well there you go the hemi cuda awesome awesome I'm excited to get that one and then next up we do have Arctic Thunder right here. Arctic Thunder looks to be uh, another extreme off-road type of snow vehicle. Seems to be like a lot of snow off-road vehicles in these. That one, uh, that one just looks scary. Imagine that driving to you in real life. That looks pretty crazy. And then one right after that is the Sahara Sweeper. So possibly for the Sahara Desert. It's some sort of uh, off-road desert vehicle right there. There you go. Kind of interesting looking as you can see right from the top right there all right what else do we have right here we got a tank attack what is this attack track and check that out it's got like some big bomb on the top of it that is crazy attack attack okay okay that's the yeah okay big bomb vehicle there we go what else do we have down here we've got the ford bronco 4x4 all right look at that i love the ford broncos it's even got a trailer hitch on the back of it Check that one out. You can see that right there. So I guess you could throw some things on here to tow with. Uh, then beneath that, we do have the uh, Sandra Shredder. Sandra Shredder. Okay, that's an interesting name for a car. And this looks to be like some sort of uh, desert vehicle right there. Pretty neat looking. Looks like it's all ready to go off-roading. We've got the uh, extra tire in the back of this one as well. Big push bar on the front of it. And next up, we do have, uh, looks like another snow vehicle. This one is called ARV01. That is, wow, that's even scarier than the other one. Look at that. Can you imagine just cruising around that in the snow? You just plow through everything in that thing. All right, what else do we have down here? We've got the Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe. All right, for the Mercedes fans, I'm a big Mercedes fans. Love the GLE Coupe. There we go. Nice looking Mercedes. Uh, I guess they call it a coupe, even though it's a four-door. I don't understand that, but hey, nonetheless. Oh, look at this. We got a hovercraft. Hydro Cruiser. Wow. That's really neat. And like, look. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually a boat. But you can see on the bottom, this is meant to be the water for it. Wow, that's really neat. So it's a, it's, I guess they do it so it stands up easier. You can see on the actual picture itself, you can see it is a boat. And then you can see right down here. I thought this was a hovercraft, but it actually is just like imitation water that they've put down here. That's really cool. I've never seen something like that before. Hydro Cruiser. All right, if you wanna get that one, go for that. Wow, awesome, awesome. All right, let's see what we have down below on our next set down here. More cars down here, more types of off-road vehicles, I'm sure. Oh, wow, look at this big truck we've got right here. We've got the International CXT, or is it GXT? I think it's, uh, no, it's a CXT, it looks like. Wow, look at that. That's a giant looking truck right there. International, they make some crazy looking big giant trucks. Um, it looks like some sort of flatbed on the back of it right there. And it's got the tow hitch on the back of it as well, ready to tow. All right, and then we've got, ooh, Mazda CX-5, Mazda CX-5. Uh, this is actually a car I have in real life. I, I used to have a Mazda CX-5, but uh, there it is. So there is your matchbox format of that. I think I actually already bought this car a while ago, which is pretty neat. So pretty cool looking car. All right, that other side. And what else do we have up here? We'll pull a bunch of cars down. Uh, we've got a Jeep Wagoneer. There we go, Jeep Wagoneer with the uh, imitation woody on the side of it, the wood trim that it's got on there. That's what the classic Jeep Wagoneers are known for right there. Awesome, we'll put that aside. And then we've got a, what is this one? Rumble Raider. Wow, okay, that's another crazy off-road vehicle right there. Rumble Raider. It's like, it's, it's almost hard to tell which is the front and the back of this one. No, we got the tire, the spare tire in the back of it, which is cool. And then you can see the front end is just very, very aggressive looking, almost like an extreme Hummer. All right, let's go ahead and see this one. Oh, that's pretty neat. Look at this one. What is this one called? The Skidster. There we go. So that's one's meant to a construction vehicle, meant to go in and dig up. It looks like a, the, what do they call them? The Bobcats of some sort. So that's what it looks like right there. That's really cool. Neat, 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 like that one. And we got some sort of garbage truck here, garbage gulper. There we go, garbage gulper. And I'm sure this piece right here probably turns and goes and fits in right to the back right there. That would be really cool. 
Yeah, it does look like that's what it's meant to be. Garbage Gulper. All right, we'll put him aside right there. And we'll see what else we have in here. More cars, more great ones here. Oh, and we got another off-road one here. Uh, construction vehicle. Check that one. Check it out. Look at the front end. The big giant push right there for dirt. Uh, this one is called the uh, Plow Verizer. Plow Verizer. There we go. Definitely something that you can plow through dirt and build something for construction. That'd be cool to open up and play in the sand and stuff like that. And then we've got a police car, the 2015 Subaru WRX STI police vehicle. Check that out. And it looks like it's got, uh, I think it's Japanese writing. I could be wrong. You guys can correct me in the comment section below, but uh, we got a nice looking police matchbox car. All right, what else do we have up here? Oh, wow, look at that. The off-roadness of this one. This one is the uh, 1990 Volkswagen Golf Country. There we go, Golf Country. So that one looks like it's meant to kind of go, I guess, in the country, off-roading a little bit. We got the push bar on the front of it, blacked out wheels with the uh, chrome lip on there, red in the black interior, nice little spare tire just on the back right there. And then we've got uh, another big truck. This looks like a Chevy. No, I, I'm wrong, definitely not a Chevy. It's a Ford F-350 Super Duty. So we have the uh, F-550, now we've got the F-350. I wonder if we got an F-150 in there somewhere, possibly. We'll have to find out shortly, but there you go. This one is uh, some sort of off-road. It almost looks like a police. I guess it is a police. Yeah, it does say police on the side, so it's got some police-colored wheels and stuff on there to kind of match, and just look at the artwork on there. All the light up of the police lights of some sort all right let's see what else we have Ooh, cool we've got the land rover defender 90. all right it just says land rover 90 on there but it it seems to be like it is the defender 90 but there we go push bar on the front this is a classic land rover color as you can see right there very very clean looking vehicle uh looks like a little tow hitch on a tow hitch on the back of it as well it's got a uh, 65 on there so i wonder if it's the 1965 Land Rover Defender 90, it could be. All right, what else do we have here? We got a fire truck right here. This one is called the MBX Ambulance. No, it's not a fire truck, it's an ambulance, just based obviously by the name. And if I look closely, you can see it's got like the, the heartbeat meter on there, the ambulance logo and all that. So that's pretty neat. Got the lights on the top and it's pretty clean on the, on the top as well, but definitely an ambulance, not a fire truck. We'll put that one aside there. What else do we got in here? Still lots of cars left here. We've got uh, an old classic police matchbox. This one's called the 1933 Plymouth uh, PC sedan, I guess it is. I'm not sure exactly about that, uh, but it looks like to be a classic uh, like 1930s, maybe police vehicle, uh, police matchbox. There we go. Nice looking black on the front. Uh, no fancy lights or anything like that. I guess they didn't have that back in the day with these police vehicles, but nonetheless, still pretty neat. And what do we have? Volkswagen Beetle, the classic VW Beetle, 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. There you go. Look at that. One of, one of the best selling cars of all time. They made this car for like, I don't know, like maybe 50 or 60 plus years or maybe even more than that. Just tons of uh, years that they made this car in real life. But it's definitely a classic. Love it. Love the old VW Beetle. And what is this one here? We've got a our, uh, Acre Maker. Acre maker. So this might be like a farming vehicle of some sort. Uh, it says MBX construction. Okay, so it's a, a part of the construction series. But wow, that one's pretty crazy. Got a giant tow hook on the back there. And it almost looks like, does it go this way or does it drive this way? I guess it would drive this way since the tow hitch is on the back right there. Pretty neat. All right, we'll throw that one aside. What else do we have? We've got the meter made. Uh oh, don't get a parking ticket. There's meter made going around uh, DMPD. So it's a uh, police sort of meter made type of vehicle. Uh, yeah, you don't want to get your hands on that. Look at the bottom of this one too. Look at where the wheels are for that one. That's pretty neat. All right, throw that aside. Now we got a van right here. This is a 95 custom Chevy van. There we go, custom Chevy van. Check that one out. Uh, looks to be like another type of off-road. Yeah, MBX, uh, MBX road trip, not off-road. So this is a, a road trip vehicle. So it must have like a, a bed and a kitchen in the back. Oh, look at that. We've got a little motorbike on the back hitched onto the back right there. That's really cool. I like that. White wheels to go with this one as well. All right, we'll throw that one aside. We'll grab three more cars out here. We're getting down to the bottom. What is this one? This looks like an Expedition, is it? Ford Expedition, I'm right. There you go, Ford Expedition. And this one is part of the MBX Road Trip Series, so same thing. And funny enough, if you look on the actual card itself, there's police lights on it or some sort of emergency lights. And we look on the car itself, there's nothing on the top. So uh, I don't know what that's all about, but nonetheless, Ford Expedition, we'll throw him aside right there. Uh, another one of the construction series ones, MBX Construction, this one's called Drill Digger. 
check that out. Wow, just check out that giant drill piece right there that it just drills right into the ground. That is crazy. Holy crap. All right, we'll have to put all the construction vehicles around each other. Uh, is this another construction one? MBX construction. This one is like that water shooter type of thing. I guess these flaps will come out here. Or these big like arms will come out and it sprays water. This one's called Rainmaker. Making it rain, the Rainmaker. There we go. All right, we'll throw him aside. What else do we have? A couple more cars. Ooh, Corvettes. There's a C7 2014 Corvette Stingray C7 Police. You guys know how much I love the sports car. So there is your C7 Corvette police car. And then it's followed up by another construction vehicle right here. This one is called MB Excavator. MB Excavator. There we go. Oh, it's got that big arm right there. The big excavator arm that comes right up probably. Part of the construction series again. Our last three cars that we have. Let's see what do we have here. We got a Chevy truck. This is called the 1975 Chevy Stepside right there and it looks like it's almost lowered in the back and then raised in the front it could be i don't know if it's purposely supposed to be like that or that's just the way the casting looks um and there's your little step side right there it's got like a 10 bed and 10 interior on there there is your front end for that one as well and then the next one we have is a jeep willys 1943 jeep willys classic army vehicle there is your jeep willys right there very, very good classic off-road. This says MBX Rescue Series. Awesome, awesome, love the Jeeps. And our last vehicle we have right here is the 2016 Chevy Colorado Extreme. There is your Chevy Colorado Extreme. You can see how extreme it looks just right all on there on the artwork and then it kind of meshes into here. Although, see, it's got the little black box on the top right there, and then this one's just kind of painted and blended in. So maybe not the greatest of details, but still a very cool off-road car. Guys, in the comment section below, let me know which was your favorite car that I showed you today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.